Our top story tonight, and thank you so much for being with us, is a cutback in resources for mental health treatment tonight is prompting a group in southeast Texas to fill the void. Kara Dixon is investigating. She joins us in the studio to share what she's learned. Kara, what is this group trying to accomplish? Greg, the team has been together a little more than a year. It includes police and mental health professionals working together and making house calls to help people before their problems grow too large. Spindletop Center in Beaumont is known for diagnosing and treating patients with all types of health problems. One team is working to prevent problems before they happen. The Assist Stabilizing Prevention Program. Deputy Tommy Smith works for the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. He's also one of five members of the ASAP team, a combination of peace officers and Spindletop health professionals working with mental health patients. We want to, to meet and engage these clients before they get to that point where they're in a crisis or before they reach that point where they are a danger to themselves or others. They engage the clients at their homes. The group formed in response to cutbacks in mental health resources. When officers would respond, by the time that they responded, uh, was able to uh, handle the situation, transport the person to uh, a medical facility, uh, get them in the medical facility and back on the street, it was taking them anywhere from four to six hours. The team's goal? To establish a trusting relationship between law enforcement, health services, and the patients living in the community. Instead of ending up in jail inappropriately or the hospital, they can call us and say, hey, you know, I'm out of medication and that's the reason I went to the hospital the last time. Or, hey, I missed my doctor's appointment. Is there any way we can work on making sure that I get there better next time or making sure that my medication is like it needs to be so I don't go into crisis? Kayla DeVille works for Spindletop. She says two member teams visit patients at home and by talking with them, they help create a stronger bond. So often when we share our stories with one another, things are normalized. And yes, you may have a mental health diagnosis and I may not, but at the end of the day, we both have a story. And when we share that, things get accomplished. Accomplished before the problems reach the point that law enforcement must come in. Last year, ASAP worked with more than 100 patients. This year, they're up to 500. Smith said they expect the number to double again, a sign they're needed not only in Jefferson County, but surrounding areas. For more about the program and a number to call, visit fox4beaumont.com. Kara Dixon, 6 News on Fox. Greg? Thank you, Kara.